Hi everyone, it's Jaakko here. I wanted to make a short video about how to reference other graphs in uh, Substance Designer and how we can build a library of uh, assets which we can uh, use easily and how we can just use this library area here to, to find them and sort of uh, organize them. So um, if we go to here and file and uh, uh, to, to edit the preferences, we can see that we have a bunch of settings here and what we can do is that we can go to, to the projects in here and we can see we have this uh, project tab in here and we can see we have a library here and what I've done here is that I just uh, added some uh, path in here and what this means is that it allows Substance Designer to to look into this folder and sort of uh, catalog everything what we, what's there and then uh, those uh, files will be available in the library and those crafts and, and stuff like that uh, uh, basically the crafts which are in the packages so the package means that you have a well a package which can have several crafts and then those crafts uh, can be referenced from those packages so that's the way how it works but uh, so um yeah uh, i have like for example this diamond plate uh, pattern this which which has this uh type of uh, uh, shapes going on here so I'm just gonna write diamond uh, and we can see that uh, it finds uh, substance designer finds um, uh, this uh, graph from uh, from package which was inside that folder which I uh, referenced so I'm just gonna drag this guy in here and 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 now we can see that we have uh, put the graph and we are referencing uh, this one and if we want to explore and see what's inside we can just right click this one we can open reference and it says do you want to load package which contains craft reference yes and now we can see that we have now that reference here open and and the other way to do this is that if we have some of these guys open here we can just uh, drag and drop this and so on but uh, one of the guys in my YouTube who, who's watching my YouTube uh, had a problem with this and I don't quite understand what was the problem but but I suspect that maybe the output wasn't uh, defined in his uh, graph which was he was trying to reference so if you go to here and we can see that we have uh, output defined and without the output uh, it's not gonna work because Substance uh, doesn't know what what he's going to be looking at so uh, it's, uh, if we are here and we just go and uh, add node and we can go to here and hit add output just um, click wrong but I'm going to do that and now we can see that the ident identifier here and we can do like we could do, do like height or something like that we can use different uh, identifiers in here and so on so I'm just going to do that and crack, uh, drag and drop this here uh, so so now we have a uh, complete complete a graph in here which has um, output and now we can just keep using this now the graph can of course have also input so so the one way we could do this that we could uh, put some color in here and make this graph so that we can uh, input a background color for this pattern for example just a very very simple and uh, and you can go much more complicated than this of course the substance designer is really great because it allows you to just go uh, wild with this stuff but let's try something simple just to illustrate that you can also have of course inputs here so I'm just gonna go in here and add new node and add uh, maybe color image input in here so we could use a uh, transfer this or uh, convert this to some kind of a color uh, pattern so I've had this now in here and we could maybe go and add blend so I'm just gonna add blend in here and uh, maybe we could feed this to, to the upper region so I actually went on and added gradient mapping here because we want to convert this to color data so I'll have this here now and I'm just gonna drag uh, this line here so we get the uh, foreground and background and maybe I could maybe try uh, add linear dodge in here and see if this works so uh, now we have a uh, output and input and if we go in here to our graph we can see that yes indeed we have input in here so why don't we just go and try to put some color in here I'm just gonna go and uh, add a uniform uh, you know, color in here and maybe we could try something like that and drag this guy in here and see that if it does anything to us and yes now we can see that our node is taking the input as a well in this case a background color kind of thing but uh, you get the idea I'm sure and you can ha have multiple inputs and multiple outputs for your own custom-made nodes so yes uh, 
it's just a sh short video about how we can use crafts inside crafts in uh, Substance Designer. Hope you enjoyed, hope you find this useful and please subscribe to my channel uh, for more content. So yes, this was Yako. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>